I'm just completing the installation of an electronic ignition system in my 1970 Mercedes 280SL. And I want to show you what I'm up to. I believe personally that this is one of the best performance improvements you can make on an old car that uses the point style ignition. I mean, when, when I show you what we're doing on this 280SL, it has a number of advantages and it's not all that difficult to install. You know, it has an ignition module that you have to mount somewhere in the car. It uses an optical trigger rather than a points that open and close and that can be installed in the stock distributor without any modification. So I'm just kind of wrapping this up right now and I want to kind of show you a few things I've done and explain all the advantages why you would want to do this to your own old car. I know some of you are thinking, well Kent, you know, that's going to ruin the originality of the car. And I don't feel that is a problem, and you're going to see why here momentarily. Because you don't really have to modify anything that you cannot go back to the original system. Let me show you first how we've installed the optical trigger. This is the shutter that comes in the kit, and this is the optical trigger. So you can see I've removed the points and the condenser from the distributor, and I've installed this unit here, and I even am using the stock rotor and I'm using the stock distributor cap. So when you put this on like this, say and snap it down, you're not gonna be able to tell that it doesn't have the stock points in there. Once again, you can always put it back uh, to original. Let me show you briefly what I've taken off. Here's some of the wiring. There's the wiring uh, and, and the condenser. Here are the stock points. And, and of course, they're badly pitted and worn like most. And then here is one extra wire that I removed. So I'm going to put these, I'm going to put these parts here in a little bag and save them. So if some later date, either myself or you know the next owner of this car wants to return it to the original transistor, transistorized ignition, the, welcome to it. Okay, because not only does this system use points, but it uses Mercedes' early attempt at getting a kind of a hybrid electronic ignition. It was called a transi transistorized ignition system. And when it gets old, you can have all kinds of problems with it. So when you install the crane, you literally bypass all that original stuff. I can call it stuff. Now look what I've done here. This is the ignition module unit from the crane. I've installed it under the battery. I have, I have an indicator light here that I can, that I can still see. But I put this under the battery because I want to kind of hide it. Now I'm going to be installing an AGM battery here, so I do, I do not need to worry about corrosion. But look at some of the other things I've done here to kind of hide the system. It comes with, you know, yellow, red, black, gray, white wiring. And of course, if this wiring is running around the engine compartment, anybody's going to see that the car has been modified. So what I'm doing here is I'm hiding the modification. I've used uh, shrink tubing here to cover up this wire and I've cut them to length uh, just for the terminal ends here and you can see I've used shrink tubing here to cover the colors of the wire and then on this wire uh, set here I just used a black electrical tape and we'll route these through underneath here and up to the distributor and plug them in and when I'm all done here you won't be able to see the difference so I don't believe that uh, you know, affecting the originality of the car is an issue. Not when you weigh the advantage. Number one, eliminate the points. Here's another advantage. If you've been around old cars and have worked with these old distributors, a lot of them get a little bit of play in it. This one only has a little bit of play here, just a little bit. Well, you know if you have a points ignition and you have play in the distributor shaft, you're going to have a hard time getting the dwell right and the points are going to be jumping around. But when you install this optical trigger in the shutter, a slight amount of play in the distributor shaft is not going to make any difference in the firing sequence inside the distributor. So that's a big advantage. You eliminate the points. You don't have to worry about shaft wear. You eliminate the transistorized factory ignition. Uh, these showed up in the, in the later 60s and early 70s. And the other advantage is you get such a hot spark that you get much better clean burning uh, fuel combustion and you get much better starting. And later on, when we get this all set up and roll the car outside, I'll give you a chance to hear this engine run. 
with this crane installed. So once, once again, if you have one of these older Mercedes Benzes or any other older car with points ignition, I highly recommend that you convert it to electronic ignition. I do offer a crane conversion for the older six cylinder Mercedes specifically uh, from about you know, the late 50s up until the very early 70s. Uh, that's, that's all we offer. There's crane ignition systems, other units out there that are available for other makes and models, but that is primarily what we offer on my website. So if you have an older Mercedes and you're interested in making this conversion, uh, be sure to check that out. One of the things I do in my kit is I've written an additional manual to go along with Crane's manual. Crane's manual is very good, it's very thorough, but it can be a, a little bit confusing and it may leave some gaps because it covers so many different cars. So I've written a manual that is specific for these older Mercedes six cylinder uh, gas, both carbureted and fuel injected engines. So if you're, if you're interested in making this conversion, and I highly recommend you do it, just follow the links below in the show more and it'll take you right to that a unit that we sell on my website.